Hi, I'm JM. I'm a film portrait photographer based in Melbourne. I'm from the Philippines. I moved to Melbourne three years ago. Um, my work is inspired by the multiculturalism and diversity of Melbourne. So I came from somewhere where like, we always see like white people as like the basis of being pretty, you know? And we, you know, we would have like uh, whitening products in almost all products like lotions. And I remember working back in like fashion in Manila and we would always hire um, models that are white. But coming from a, from a place where I was surrounded with just like my fellow Filipino people, and I was like, Philippines is not as diverse as Melbourne. I was so just fascinated with like the diversity and the multiculturalism. Um, I met a lot of different people from different backgrounds, from different cultures. Coming here made me more aware of what what's been happening with the with the people of color like with the black community in in general so when I met my friend Jesse hearing her stories hearing the experiences of the my friends from the people of color made me more aware and educated with what's happening I remember Jesse asking me to do a shoot with a group of Polynesians so when I met them they were so great they were so welcoming and this whole interaction just proves that what I'm doing is not just like shooting people, not just being there and like taking photos. Like I'm making like a meaningful connection with these people. Like I'm I'm learning about other cultures more, and it's so so um, fulfilling to be educated more about different cultures. For the first two years, I wasn't I wasn't doing any personal shoots. Like, I think I think I got like a kind of like a creative depression. Like I didn't really uh, shoot much, so I was just paying attention to my uni. I was like, sh um, I need to re reinvent myself and maybe try another medium. So that's how I started considering shooting film. I got my film camera a year ago, almost a year ago, no, uh, more than a year ago, like last February 2019. And then I think shooting film has been really great for me because I started having confidence again. Photography for me on a personal level is, it's very therapeutic in a way. When I come home, I always like feel fulfilled and happy. And in terms of like film, you know how you, you would wait for like the film to be developed and all that. And then I always, always like think about it too much for a while. Oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. Um, maybe I didn't um, take the photos really well. Maybe like the framing is not good. Maybe it's blurred, something like that. So I think about it like that. And then whenever like I get an email from, from the lab with all of my photos, I'll be like really, really, really happy. And I think like with film, that kind of like excitement fueled me again, like to do photography and at the same time, like emotionally contributed to like my mental health. When I was doing this, what worked for me is that I've done so much shoots that kind of like improve my photography in general. And uh, I didn't want people to keep me in a box like that you should all should only do this or listen to to some like advice that you should only um, do whatever is normal kind of like that so what I did with mine is I would always want it to be as simple as possible I wanted to be like more of us interacting and not not about like planning or like clothes and all that 
uh, I shoot mostly color, um, specifically Portra 400, and I don't really shoot black and white because I always associated black and white with just being moody and all that. And recently I started scanning my own film because I wanted to play with um, colors and then I want to be in control with, with the images as well. So shooting color for me kind of like brings a real life representation to the subject, you know, to the subjects that I shoot. And I think it's as real as you can get. So when it comes to finding your style or your voice in, com in terms of photography, I think it's really important for people like photographers to know that you, you have to try like everything. Go out there, shoot as much as possible, like landscape, portraits and all that. And you know, eventually there will be a time where you're gonna like find fulfillment with, with a certain type of photography. I want people to realize, I want photographers to realize that Instagram is just a platform. It should never be like an app that you should get validation from. You should never base the value of your own work with likes and followers and all that. You should never ever like compare yourself. At the end of the day, it's your work. You should believe in your own work and just be firm with it. So moving forward, one of my greatest dreams is like to have an exhibition of the portraits that I've taken. Like, I would be so happy if that happens. Um, I think that exhibition will be like an opportunity for me to show beauty in, in different cultures, you know. But in terms of like small goals, I definitely want to do like a zine of like the people I photographed so far. Like, you know, I've done film for just a year now. I think it would be interesting for people to like see how I met and how I pushed myself in like meeting different people in just a year. I want people to be, I want photographers in specifically to be more accepting with, with newbies. You know how uh, some people would hate on people who does this kind of photography, you know, let's say like orange and teal. Um, the fairy lights and all that because I don't really get the hate because I, I know in myself I started from there I started like from from mimicking some other photographer I started like experimenting and all that and if 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 back then someone told me uh, your work is not good your work is shit it's, it's it's so trendy I would be so down I would be so down and I want photographers to be more encouraging just just be helpful and uh, also like um, I think there's a problem with with the community about like being secretive about the knowledge like being secretive about the, their process and all that because I think some photographers uh, fear that they, they will be copied I think there's um, no original content anymore yeah, you always always get inspired by by something by someone by a painting or you know you just want some knowledge you just want to be inspired Hi. Uh, should I say hi? Shit. Uh, my name is JM or John, but I prefer <laughs> JM. Sorry. <laughs>